Uh, maple syrup production, the whole premise is that we're harvesting sap when winter is thawing into spring. And when that happens is really uh, highly variable and dependent on a whole host of factors. Um, what I'm noticing with climate change is that we're getting a, a really extreme change in when the first tapping happens. It used to be that we'd tap in uh, end, of, end, of, end of February, early March, basically, and most of our season would be in March. Um, now we're tapping mostly the end of January. Most of our season's in February, so it's shifted a month um, on average. Um, depends a bit year to year, but uh, that's something that's happening across the state. And it's likely going to continue to shift earlier and earlier in the season. Some projections might be even into December uh, in the next 30, 40 years. So when we have spring is going to change. It's not always going to be in March, and that's going to affect everyone who's making maple syrup. I think on a more farm-to-farm -farm level, uh, there's a lot of concerns and challenges with uh, the health of the sugar maple trees themselves. They're generally a tree that likes to live in a cooler climate. So when we have shorter winters, we have less dormancy, all these kind of factors, we really don't know what the effect is on sugar maples. What we do know is the, their range is definitely shifting further north. And this sort of central New York is becoming a, a better climate for things like red maple, which is still a tree you can make sap off of, but is not as productive as the sugar maple.